Hey guys, this is Chris with Blind Man's Bluff Gaming and welcome to Bioshock. Uh, this is Bioshock 1 from the Bioshock Collection on Xbox One. And this is going to be the first 30 minutes of the game so you guys can check it out and see what it looks like and uh, plays like. And uh, just a quick, if you want to review, play this game. <laughs> it is my favorite game of all time and uh, it's just phenomenal. Anyways guys, let's hit it. They told me. Son, you're special. You were born to do great things. You know what? They were right. God, no gods or kings, only men. Andrew Ryan, and I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No, says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose rapture. Sitting with the 
artist would not fear to censor, where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality, where the great would not be constrained by the small. And with the sweat of your brow, rapture can become your city as well. signs are actually kind of interesting. Attention all bathysphere travel is now denied. It's like Ryan trapped him here or something. Oh, that's pretty cool. Thank <laughs> you. 
I tell you, tell you one thing I do notice is that uh, 60 frames a second definitely makes a difference as far as aiming. I don't know if they improved it or not or did something with it, but it just feels uh, quite a bit smoother than the original game. Alright, it's showtime. I know leave me alone. Oi. want to aim for the head if you can. It makes a pretty big difference, especially on higher difficulty levels. And you want to uh, scavenge constantly if you can. Oh, 
you must feel like the unluckiest man in the world right now. But you are the only hope I'll ever see my wife and child again. Go to Neptune's bounty. Find my family, please. Great ball. Maybe that's why they all have those masks on. Okay, like here, you could actually go past this part, but there's a lot of stuff down here. I want to make sure to explore. Make sure you got your plasmids reloaded. Wow. <laughs> Normally I'm pretty good about that. Yeah, well like uh, the booze, you can drink it, but uh, I believe it gives you some Eve, but it takes your health. Later on, you can pick up uh, perks. I'm, I'm not, I don't remember what they're called, but you can pick up a perk. One of them, I think it's called Booze Hound, where uh, the booze, when you drink it, will actually give you health. Did you spot a splicer in the water? Hit him with the electrobolt. Yeah. 
you're stuck in Fessus working. Huh. Imagine my surprise. Well, I just guess I'll have another drink. <laughs> Here's a toast to Diane McClintock. Silliest girl in Rapture. Silly enough to fall in love with Andrew Ryan. Silly. down here later on I think that's in this one you can get uh, perks that will uh, help your stealth you'll have to fight me for her for her what are you talking about And then there are other ones that will uh, increase your headshot damage, and there, there's just so much variety in this game. Careful now. Would you kindly lower that weapon for a minute? You think that's a child down there? Don't be fooled. She's a little sister now. Somebody went and turned a sweet baby girl into a monster. Whatever you thought about right and wrong on the surface, well, that don't count for much down in Rapture. Those little sisters, they carry Adam. The genetic material that keeps the wheels of Rapture turning. Everybody wants it, everybody needs it. Yeah, I think he's dead. to this a little bit.
try not to double it. gonna stop it right here and uh, I'm actually gonna do a full let's play of the game uh, you can check that out on the channel um, as soon as I get it done and uh, but if not hey I highly recommend you pick up this game uh, the the collection has all three games with all the with all the story DLCs in it, and I did notice that they have uh, a couple new kind of survival type uh, missions in in this game. I I didn't get a chance to play them or anything, but it seems like they added some more content in here that could be really cool. Um, I know in Bioshock 2 you have the uh, Protector Trials, and um, and you actually have Minerva's Den, which was an amazing uh, single-player campaign expansion. So there's just a ton of content here. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for taking the time to check out this uh, video. If you could do me a big favor and drop me a like, it would be greatly appreciated. Anyways, guys, stay awesome.